So hi, Preston Salen here uh, with Home Inspection Carolina. I'm out at a construction site where they're building uh, some townhomes. And what I wanted to talk to you today was about uh, roof trusses and how they work. And the thing to think about roof trusses are, think about bridges and truss bridges. Basically a truss allows you to span a large area without having to have supports uh, you know, in the middle, but more on the end. So that's how trusses came about. And traditional homes had just the regular uh, rafters with knee bracing that came down to a load-bearing wall but then when they came out with trusses much like a, a bridge truss it transfers all the way to the outside so let's take a look at those right now so um, we've got a bunch of trusses here uh, there, there's tons uh, and they're all getting ready to go up on that roof right there but uh, so you see what it is if you think about it now there's multiple ones here that's basically the rafter it goes up and then it does sort of a uh, kind of a hip gamble thing and it comes back down but all these web members that go back and forth they transfer all the weight to the outside wall and down on the other end on that outside wall so what happens is you can have a large span in the middle here where you can do a lot more architecturally um, and it opens up the floor plans and that sort of thing but now you have to be very careful uh, you cannot cut these trusses all of that is engineered to put that weight out to the outside it basically transfers all the weight but if you cut this to put a skylight in or ceiling fan or something you've compromised the strength and the integrity of the entire system so uh, anyway we're gonna go look at some more here in just a second so wow here's a very uh, extensive truss system and they've been engineered they didn't just do these things hokey dokey um, so basically you know there'll be multiple of these and there'll be roof a roof that will set on that but the way to think about it is where's all the weight going so you've got all this weight coming down but it all transfers out to the exterior walls this way and then that way and then that way like I said you have an open floor plan now the more traditional roofs would have like a knee brace here a knee brace here and then this would be a load-bearing wall that would be a load-bearing wall and if it was on a crawl space there'd be a pier under there and a pier under there and a pier under the two ends but with a truss system you can basically transfer the weight to the outside and again leave all of this open for an open floor plan and you don't have to have a load-bearing wall as long as you do not cut or compromise any of this engineered truss it's basically like a truss bridge is um, you know you think about a bridge uh, especially a bridge over water or something like that it has to span a long large area without any kind of pier and they do that with a truss transferring most of the weight to the end points I'm just gonna walk they've got all the trusses they're getting ready to put them up so I'm gonna show you these couple of different trusses and again the 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 the, uh, the idea is all the same in each one uh, it's basically pre-manufactured roofs uh, with web members trusses so that they can take all of the um, the weight and uh, transfer it to the outside there's a couple more here and when I inspect these when we inspect these we go up in the roof and one thing to look for look to is to see if any of them are damaged they can't be damaged split uh and sometimes because they're they come in packs the bottom will be damaged by a forklift so you always look for that um, but you just want to make sure that they're all in good shape um, none of them are damaged uh, split uh, look for the where the knots are in the wood and again you cannot cut or compromise any of the truss web members or anything along that nature because you will compromise the strength of the entire system. So this is Preston Salem talking about roof trusses today. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, if you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call at 704-542-6575. Thanks.